Hello, I'm Parisa. Today I'm sharing with you my first experience of needle painting and how I could somehow figure it out and went from this to this. I have never done needle painting before. That's why I took a needle painting course on Domestica. You can find the link of the course in the description below. I'm going to share with you what I learned through this project and show you a small part of stitching this butterfly. I think the most important thing is the choice of colors. At first I decided not to buy the exact colors suggested in the course and match whatever color I already had. That's when this happened. As you can see, the colors are not blended at all. I learned my lesson after stitching this far. I realized for my future needle painting projects, the color should not be very distinctive. It is best to choose one color and use a slightly different shades of that color in order to have a nice gradient. I knew what long and short stitches are, but had no clue how to use them in irregular shapes. What helped me a lot was to draw on my fabric the guidelines for both the duration of the stitches and where I needed to change to another color. I wasn't sure what I was exactly doing, but I just kept doing one long stitch, then one short stitch, and avoid doing stitches with same length beside each other. And I learned that very long stitches do not look very good. You can see some long stitches where I try to blend the colors, which I'm not very fond of. I tried to take it easy and if I found a gap, I went back and filled it in. And for blending the colors even more, it is very helpful to brush the sections you finished with the tip of your needle. It also helps you see the gaps you could not see beforehand.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos on embroidery.